All right, Jersey Jaguar, back at you another video. And the 2023 National Sports Collectors Convention is just around the corner. It's going to be here in Chicago. So I figured I'd do a video to help some of you guys out. And it's going to be on how to prep a jersey to get autographed. Now, this is meant for a sit-down or a send-in signing, not for an in-person signing. All right, guys, let's get to it. Alright guys, first things first, so if you have a jersey that is silk screened or ones that are heat pressed on, do not get the jersey signed on the numbers, okay? They will fade, they will bleed, almost guaranteed, alright? I've only seen a select few that haven't. In this situation, you're going to want to get it signed on the body of the jersey, meaning on the jersey material itself, not the numbers, but only in that situation. All right, and second, always follow the rules and guidelines of the promotion company or of the handler that's running the autograph signing. Whether it's a sentence signing, a convention, or a sit-down signing at a store, whatever it is, always follow their rules first and then refer to this video next. Yeah. All right, so step one is going to be determining what we want to get done, meaning where we want him to sign, what we want him to sign, for example, if I want just his signature right here, I'm going to have to label that. Maybe I want his signature here going up on an angle with Hall of Fame right here. Or maybe I want the whole thing to be stated up with inscriptions. Guys, what you decide with this is going to determine how we prep the jersey. Two. All right, so step number two is going to be folding the jersey. Guys, I'm not going to give a full demonstration on how to fold a jersey. I have a video for each sport on how to fold the jersey. Check them out. all right so we have our jersey folded next we're going to spray the numbers to prevent them from bleeding guys we're going to end up spraying both numbers even if we're just going to get one of them signed because we want to keep it as even as possible all right guys so i'm going to use scotch guard fabric protector i've been using this quite a bit guys haven't had any bad results yet all right so basically what we want to do is we want to block off as much of this jersey as possible to prevent it from getting sprayed on areas that we don't want. In terms of the number, we're just gonna go over it evenly once, let it dry again, and let it dry. If you wanna do a third time, you can, but usually two times is good enough. So here we go. That's it, that's all we need. All right, guys, and again, we're going to let it dry, and then we're gonna do it again and maybe one more time, depending on how soft the numbers are. And then we're going to repeat the exact same process on this number right here. Yeah. All right, so the jersey is finished being prepped. We sprayed it. It's good to go. What we're going to do now is we're going to label up the jersey how we want it to get signed. So, for example, if I want his signature over here, Hall of Fame 2002 over here, and five-time champ over here, we're going to mark it up and have it labeled as such. All right, guys, so we're going to use some painter's tape. All right, any painter's tape works. And the way you do this is cut some strips of the tape off to the side, and you're going to mark it off to the side. Do not put the tape on the jersey and mark it on the jersey. If you mess up and you get it on the jersey, now you got permanent marker on your jersey. Do not do that. All right, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and label these like how I said earlier. All right, cool. So this is how it turned out. All right, guys, I have a signature and then I have an arrow after the signature so he knows which way to sign. The other two are more straightforward. They're already going to know what to do. Five. All right, and now it's time to transfer these pieces of tape that are marked onto the jersey. And there we go. All right, so we're almost done. You guys can see pretty much how it's going to look. Again, we got signature and then I got an arrow pointing that way so he knows the sign going upwards. Guys, if I'm doing a sign-in setting, what I'm going to do is include a little note that says silver paint, use marker provided. Um, so they know to use a silver paint pen, aka silver paint marker, and to use the one that I'm going to give them. Now, for some reason, if you want them to use their own pen, just write down silver paint or whatever color you want them to use. And then it's pretty much it. All we're going to do is put this in a big Ziploc bag and mail it out. If it's going to be a sign-in signing, 
if it's going to be a signing that you're going to attend that's a sit down signing just bring it like this and bring your marker whichever one you want to use usually the handlers there will have the own markers that you can use too all right and there you go i hope that video has truly helped you if you guys have any questions at all don't hesitate to ask in the comments i'd appreciate a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video guys also if there's something else you want to see me do in the future don't hesitate to ask i'll do my best to get it done best of luck with the signing i'll see you at the next one mm -hmm.